The following sports presentation is brought to you by the PC TV Network, powered by Telus Vision, your hometown station. We're home for you. It's Earth's Little Heaven, the PC TV Network. PC TV Network, your hometown station. We're home for you. That's our slogan, but I dare jest, and it's the truth, and it fits best. The PC TV Network, your number one source for local sports, with your favorite host, Bernie, Dave, Al, and Scott. The PC TV Network, we're home for you. It's more than a slogan, it's all true. Local programming, stream 24-7, the PC TV Network. It's Earth's Little Heaven, the PC TV Network. Check out channels 22, 28, and 98. Tune in, it's sure to be great. The PC TV Network.com, uh huh. The PC TV Network.com, uh huh. The PC TV Network.com, uh huh. Make sure you support PC TV Network, PC TV Network.com, your hometown station. From Springford High School, the PCTV Network proudly presents the Girls' Championship, Basketball Championship for the Pioneer Athletic Conference. It is Springford against Burke Valley. Well, seems like the backyard brawl and it lives on. Hi, everybody. I'm Al Ganoza, joined by Bernie Gallagher. Bernie, it's title time. We're here at Springford. And first of all, let's check with the visitors, coached by John Russo. Perk Valley Vikings, a big surprise. Remember, five years ago, they were district champions, but then a decline. Three years ago, eight and 14. Two years ago, eight and 14. Last year, eight and seven, Russo's installed a culture, turned them around. They're 19 and four, ranked number tw uh, 20 in the state of Pennsylvania. They are really playing. They've become a dangerous basketball team. In their semifinal, they destroyed Pope John Paul 55 to 20. And Al, believe it or not, they play five freshmen. They saw these kids in sixth and seventh grade. In eighth grade, they knew these kids were good enough to play varsity basketball when they got to grade nine, got to the high school. And they're just amazing. Their chemistry together, and it's balanced by senior Jen Beatty, who scored 20 points in round one of the playoff, 19 points in the semifinal. And you know, the bottom line, you hear coaches state the old mantra, defense wins championship. Well, guess what? Perk Valley has the number one defense in the conference. They allow only 35 points per game. That bodes well for this team. They're dangerous. They could pull it off. All right, Springford, meanwhile, coached as usual by Mickey McDaniel. And he brings another good one in tonight. You know, when you try to describe what Mickey McDaniel and his staff have done through the years, you run out of superlatives. This is a team, a program that's been to the state championship of the large school class 6a three of the last eight years they won it all in 2013 last year they lost in the state final finished number two in the state again they're ranked top 20 they're 20 and four they in their semifinal took care of Methacton. now Methacton is 20 and two ranked top 10 in the state springford beat them by 16 points and perk valley plays five freshmen springford plays five sophomores so for the next three years, we're going to get to see these two teams do battle. But I feel it's going to come down to matchup when you look at the height factor. Perk Valley runs a 6-2 girl out there in Bettinger. She starts. Springford only has one girl over six that plays 6-2 uh, player coming off the bench, Robin. So I'm thinking in the coaches' meeting, maybe two minutes into the game, at Superior Credit Union, we believe in growing stronger together. So we provide products and services to fit your financial needs and accommodate your busy lifestyle. With convenient services like home banking, e-deposits, account alerts, and a free coin counter for members, come see why Superior Credit Union is growing. Visit any one of our three locations in Collegeville, Royersford, and our brand new location in Pottstown. Superior Credit Union. Yakalak Construction, serving the Tri-County area since 1946. Family owned, free estimates, all types of concrete work, sidewalks, foundations, steps, curbs, and more. Professional service and quality. Give them a call, 610-323-8134. For more than 50 years, 
Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery has served its community with expert dental care, offering patients dental implants and a full menu of procedures for many types of dental problems, including bone grafting, wisdom teeth, impacted canines, facial trauma, jaw surgery, oral pathology, TMJ disorders, and sleep apnea. Get the smile you've always wanted. Contact Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery today. At O'Donnell, Weiss, and Matei, our team approach makes all the difference. Anyone entering a nursing home really should consult with an elder law attorney to see whether Medicaid is the appropriate option for them. But it's really important to make sure that you have someone that's familiar with those rules, that works with those rules on a daily basis, that can guide you through the process. I specialize in elder law because I enjoy the clients that I work with, and I really like helping them find solutions for their problems. OWM Law. Your life. Your business. Your law firm. There's a place for wood in your backyard. We recommend the fire pit. For looks and performance that outlast a wooden deck, make sure your next deck is built with Trex, engineering what's next in outdoor living. Your Trex expert is A.D. Moyer Lumber. ADMoyer.com. Hi, I'm Joe, and this is Chris, and many of you know us. And we'd like to welcome you to our new showroom here at 618 North Reading Avenue in Boyertown, where we offer color faucets, melon faucets as well, vanities, tubs, and many accessories. Here we have an operating, high efficiency, Energy Star rated American Standard furnace combined with a variable speed AC condenser. Uh, let us install one today to start saving you money throughout the heating and cooling season. Here at Patriot, we now offer kitchen and bath designs. So come visit us today at 618 North Reading Avenue or visit our website at www.patriotmp.com. Starting the lineup, first of all, Spring Ford, you got a 5'7 sophomore, Sienna Miller. Yeah, another sophomore. <laughs> also 5'7, Ada Azara. Well, we get somehow a senior worked her way into the starting lineup. This is Cameron Puffco. Another sophomore, Katie Tiffin, 5'7 guard. And yet another sophomore. That's Mackenzie Petnelli, 5'9, wearing number 31. Once again to coach Mickey McDaniel. And if you're wondering why Perk Valley's wearing white, it's because they are the higher seed. Jennifer Beatty getting one of the starts. She is a 5'6 senior guard. The freshman guard, number 11, Lena Stein. Lena Stein getting a start. She is a freshman wearing and number 11. A couple of Miley's on the team, both start. First one is Emma Miley wearing number 20. She is a senior. There's a younger Miley starting too, number 25, Grace Miley, a freshman. And, a freshman and another freshman starting, the tallest one, probably on the court, Quinn Bettinger, listed at 6'2". And John Russo is your head coach. Now, so much excitement for the casual fan out there. The the team in blue is looking for a five-peat <laughs> wow. for a conference championship. They made it all the way to Hershey, played for the state title one year ago. They finished number two in the state. They did capture the state championship in 2013. Currently ranked number 17 in Pennsylvania, 18 and five, the Springford Rams. Perk Valley in white, number 20 in the state of Pennsylvania, 19 and four. And under John Russo, these two teams could meet again in districts and then again in states. As Bertie said in the open, and as I said in the introductions, there's a lot of Utes out there. How amazing is that that you have five freshmen 
that play for Perk Valley in white, and five sophomores play for, wow. for Springford in blue. The Perk Valley girls never lost a game in middle school, undefeated. I tell you, if you walked out here, you'd think this was a CYO game. The kids look so young. <laughs> but they don't play like they're young. And Perk Valley controls the tip. There's a three ball on the way real quickly. It is an air ball by Beatty, and here comes Springford the other way. That's Petnelli. She'll pull up from just inside the top of the key, and it's one and done for the Ford. So much hustle on both teams. A lot of floorboards. Tenacious defense. Three ball on the way. Back iron no good by Grace Miley. And no offensive rebounds as of yet in this game. Perk Valley, despite being so young, a lot of confidence. They came in here to Springford during the regular season and defeated the Rams. Tough man-to-man -to -man defense by Perk Valley. And there's the game's first turnover as... Tiffin dragged her back foot. I want to thank everyone down here at Springford. The hospitality has been A+. Plus. Springford is going to come with a little 1-3-1 one, one full court trap. I'm sorry, 1-2-2 two, two full court trap. Nice job by PV to break it. And they're going to a little half court trap working here too. And Bettinger is knocked out of bounds. First foul of the game will be called against Cameron Puffco. Kirk Valley number seven in District One. They get a first round by Springford number eleven. They'll be on the, or they'll get a home game against number twenty two CB East. Inside Bettinger, nice interior passing inside to Miley, but she can't cash it in. Three ball on the way, back iron by Petnelli. Offensive rebound for Springford. Nelly nice off the dribble, that's a Zara. Dribbling into the lane, floats it up, right hander. And that is the game's first bucket. And she averages 15 points per game. Number 21 in blue, very talented. Again, a one, two, two, full court press. Number 20 is Emma Miley, she's the Younger than two, throws it up, no call. Rebound Springford, Petnelli ahead on the break. Petnelli partially blocked there. Nice defensive play by Lena Stein. Lena Stein wearing number 11, got the block. Boy, Perk Valley student body out here in mass. Yeah. A blackout. Kudos to them. Three is Beatty, Beatty all the way in, off the glass, a little too strong. And Tiffin with a rebound for Springford. So much guard play, you literally have nine guards on the floor at one time. I expect a lot of ball movement, a lot of fast breaks. Zara being guarded out top. Number 20 is Miller. That's a Zara again. Zara's going to pull up. 17-footer. That's a clean look. That's your point guard. She gets hot early. Forget it. So far, Springford girls looking very good shooting off the dribble. Not an easy thing to do. Springford in blue, the defending District 1 champion, and again, finished number two in Pennsylvania. Emma Miley all the way in for the tying bucket. The Miley sisters, the Stein sisters, they bring it for Perk Valley. Perk Valley aggressive on the defense. There's Tiffin will launch from the baseline. Eight points per game, only a sophomore. Katie Tiffin, a star tennis player also. And she's doing a lot of the work as the point on this full court press. PV again breaks it rather easily. Miley cross court pass. Three pointer on the way back iron no good by Grace Miley. And a loose ball picked up by Azara and she outlets it to Tiffin. 
Tiffin over to Miller. Miller's going to launch it. Here comes Beatty the other way. End to end action. Back iron unkind. Here comes Springford the other way. Azara all the way in, has it blocked, but oh, she gets fouled. Man. I didn't see a foul. Perk, Perk Valley playing without Anna Stein, suffered a season ending knee injury, one of their best players. And to end action to Zara at the line to shoot two. <laughs> Bella Bacani will check in. She's wearing a uh, number number ponytail there. Actually, yeah, number you two. Get Bacani, Smith, and Stein coming off the bench for Perk Valley. Soliday, Tiffin, and Robbins doing a nice job off the bench for Springfort. It is 6-2 spring forward, four points for Azara. Launched on the way by Beatty for the three-pointer. This is what she does, three-year starter, 20 points in round one of the playoff, 19 in the semifinal. Good ball movement by spring forward, Azara. Kicks it back out, they work it again. Puffco inside, nice little fake, and has it blocked. That's the height I'm talking about. Number 33 in white, all a 6'2", but and the only 6'2 person they can put on her is Megan Robbins coming off the bench for Springfort. Puffco, a little short jumper. Comes up empty. And here comes Emma Miley with the rebound. We'll kick it up to Beatty. Bakari, nice pass inside. Bittinger for the bucket and the foul. They're gonna have to insert some height to negate Bettinger. She's only a freshman. She knocks down 10 points per game. And uh, you can see a clear height advantage for Perk Valley when they get it to Bettinger. And once again, good entry pass by Bella Bacconi, a freshman. This Springport team so accustomed to uh, a warm environment. They play all over the country. They play in the Bahamas, Arizona. Florida, they are used to pressure atmosphere. You can hear the fans, there's Petnelli, Mackenzie Petnelli. Nice backdoor cut by Azara. She gets pushed from behind, will be a non-shooting foul. Azara, number 21, so talented. One of those super sophomores, uh, she defended Timco who broke some scoring records at, at Methacton, but her one Achilles heel, only 53% from the line. Megan Robbins checks in, she's wearing number 44. There's Petnelli, a long one. And Bettinger with a rebound. Yeah, Bettinger's having her way. Now you can see they've got the height in the game. Number 44 for Springford, Robin. They're gonna call traveling out top. Turnover goes over to the ladies in blue. That's good coaching by uh, Mickey McDaniel. Now you got the matchup you needed. It's, it's even, 6-2 on 6-2 at the low block. Zara off the high ball screen from Robbins. In traffic over to Petnelli. Petnelli, nice baseline drive. Six over to Robbins. Offensive rebound, Petnelli in traffic. Nice little inside dish. No play, no play, foul before him. Oh, come on, man. Continuation. You know, Al, I've, we've been doing this 20 years, you and I. I got to get teed up at least once. Can an announcer get a technical? Well, look at that idiot from the Bengals who got a 15-yard penalty for going on the field when he wasn't playing. So, yes, you can. <laughs> All right, I'll run on during the second quarter. Good defense by Bella Bacconi. Robbins, a little short turnaround, in and out. Tough break, and here comes Beatty yeah, the other rims, way. Not the softest in the world. Brand new, beautiful floor. They had flood damage from that storm of about five, six months ago. Beautiful new floor. What a facility. Bacotti will pull up, tries to hit Bettinger, knocked away, but recovered by Lena Stein, and back out top to Emma Miley, who will start things over again. This is not a game for the faint of heart. The defense is just tenacious. Miley will throw it up, won't get the bounce. 
Here comes the Ford the other way. Sienna Miller push it up. Back out to Petnelli. Three ball on the way. Tiffin, a little short. Robbins, rebound, puts it up and gets fouled. Now a real shout out to the other teams that qualified for the district playoff. Methacton gets a first round by. Perk Valley first round by. Springford at home against CBE. Owen J, your alma mater, Al. They'll be on the road at number 10. The Chamonix, the upper Perk girls, the stealth under the radar girls. They'll be at number seven, uh, Villa Maria. Five teams qualified for the district playoffs. Robbins hit the first one. And she is 2 for 2 And we are tied at eight. As expected, an evenly matched game. Both teams, again, similar seating. And they could meet again come district and state playoff. Springford not quite as aggressive well, in fact, they aren't doing the full court zone. They're doing a man-to-man -man as the clock is inside of 40 seconds. There's no shot clock. You're all tied, 35 seconds. I would hold for one right now. You gotta watch the five second call here. Looks like they're playing for the last one. It's close. If you're closely guarded, you have five seconds to put the ball in play there. And a foul away from the ball with 8.3 seconds left. Sienna Miller checking back in. Also checking in for the Rams a little while ago was Aliyah Soliday wearing number five. Perfect timing to go with eight seconds. You can still get a rebound off a miss. Good work to contest the ball, and here's Petnelli all the way in for the bucket. Petnelli with her first bucket of the game gives the Rams a 10-8 lead at the end of one. Now, again, big steal there by Petnelli at the end of the first quarter. So much pride here in Ram Nation. It's strange to see Mickey and the girls off to the right here. Normally they're the home team down there, but speaking of home playoff game, the Springford Ram girls have won 14 straight games at home in the playoff. Wow. That's money, that's clutch. How do you breed that kind of culture? You take them to Arizona, you take them to the Bahamas, take them to Florida eight or nine times, take them to New York. You're on the Adidas circuit, the Nike summer circuit. These girls are used to playing against the best in the world. So a game like this, it's just regular energy for them. And if you look up at the scoreboard, one side says Rams, the other side says guests. Well, tonight, Rams are actually Perk Valley, and the guests are the Rams. Lucy Olson, the all-time leading scorer at Springford, making us proud starting down at Villanova. She's uh, number two in the country in assist to turnover ratio. Bernie, one thing of note possibly, I think Bettinger has two fouls. Yeah, you gotta keep an eye on that. That's that 6-2 height that Perk Valley needs. Robbins out top of the key. Again, Perk Valley staying man to man. Zara, very comfortable shooting off the dribble and has it swatted away there by Bettinger. Yeah. That will stay Spring Ford ball. <laughs> She's so valuable. She's going to be around for four more years. This is crazy to have a freshman averaging 10 points per game. She's still growing. 6-2 with long arms. Pettinelli off the high ball screen from Robbins. Nice little pick and roll, and Robbins with a short jump shot. That's good basketball. There you go. That's what I talked about in the pregame. Megan Robbins at 6-2 can play on the low block just as well. Welcome to Ram Nation. Four point lead for the ladies in blue. And the chain of defense.
from the Ram fans, a lot of them, a lot of Perk Valley fans. Not long of a drive. Down low, Bettinger. Over to Miley and back out top to Emma Miley. Beatty a little give and go there. Oh, and the pass just a little too late and the steal by Azara. Three ball on the way. And Bella Bacotti at 5-3 finds a way to get the rebound. The ball goes back to Springford. That's a dangerous pass. There's no reason to take that kind of a risk. You're down four. This is a critical juncture. Springford will often put teams away mid-second quarter. Perk Valley's got to be careful here. They lead by four. Pettinelli all the way in, a little strong off the glass though. And Grace Miley fights her way out of it. Bacani will pull up. That's Bella Bacani, 5'3 freshman, 5'3 maybe. A three sports star, not oh. afraid, oh my goodness. Pettinelli out to Azara, all the way in, can't connect. Wow, contact, no call. Then we have a call. It's so loud in here, you can't hear the whistle. <laughs> and the intensity, intensity matches last night. Congratulations to the Methacton boys. 2022 champion. Congratulations again to them. Burke Valley down by four. They have not gotten a lot of clean looks at the bucket. Both teams have played tight defense, but I give the edge on defense to Springford thus far. Which is surprising. In the category, the pregame analytics, I had advantage shooting, Springford advantage defense, Perk Valley. 20 is Emma Miley. Wanted Bettinger inside, she couldn't get free. She's gonna go off a high ball screen from Bettinger. Ball is on the ground. Again, they're scrambling. Three-pointer on the way, Beatty no good. Petnelli with a rebound for Springford. Double team on Robbins, and a turnover to Perk Valley. Here they come the other way. Beatty wants to launch it again. She's not shy, man. No. You gotta love it as a shooter, keep firing. Hectic back and forth action, and Petnelli says, let's take a little breather here. Zara all the way in, floats it up and in. Zara now with six points. That's what I'm talking about. Suddenly it's a six point deficit. <clears throat> These possessions become very important. Oh, and an unforced error. Spring forward with a chance to extend their lead to eight or nine. Yeah, that's dangerous. You got five girls that are 14 years old playing in their first championship game. Little bit of nerves, but the number one defense in the conference are the girls in white. They need a stop right here. Meg Robbins will take a seat for Spring Forge. She gave some quality minutes off the bench down low. Zara on the wing. Soliday will kick it back out. Petnelli, a little, a little give there to. Number 20 was Miller. Puffco out top. They're in no hurry. Somebody's gonna launch it up. Very deliberate pace, as you can tell, after some back and forth, almost like hockey action. Yeah, with a six point lead, I like it. Burn a little clock, get a good shot. Petnelli, nice fake, frees herself up. Floater, no good, and the rebound. We're gonna call a jump ball. Stein 
Yeah. Included, but it's the arrows pointing PV's way. Bettinger, 33, the center, didn't block the shot, but she bothered it. And that's what created the miss, and that was a key stop. I don't think PV has scored yet this quarter. Miller coming the other, oh, it's a long one on the way and in by Saladay. A sophomore, a three-point specialist coming off the bench. Six points per game for Aaliyah Saladay. Nine-point lead. Miley all the way in, can't get it to go. Jump ball this time, at Springford's ball. Yeah, this is what the Rams do to you. You know, Mathacton was the favorite the other night against the Rams, and uh, they did not see the storm coming. Tenacious defense, they protect the basketball, they shoot their foul shots better than most of the boys team. This Springford team, dangerous. And then remember, they're coming in here as the five seed. Mathacton all year long was the best team in the league. And again, Mathacton goes into districts right now as the number three seed. So they could have revenge on their mind. You look at around the state, class 6A, number one in the state right now, Mount Lebanon, which is near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, right? Mm -hmm. And then you got PW, number two in the state, 22-0 undefeated, district one. Souderton, also district one, ranked number three in the state. Mathacton, number 10. Springford in blue, number 17 in the state. And Perk Valley in white, number 20 in the state. Nine point lead and the ball for Springford. They have been getting good shots. Although they turned it over there. PV needs a bucket, it has been a while. They have not gotten any good looks. Miley though, Emma Miley from way downtown. She has five. Yeah, she's three year starter, 10 points per game. Puffco working her way inside, cross court Petnelli. Miller will pull it back out. Zara almost loses it out of bounds, recovers. Inside of two minutes, boy, this is a oh, big nice little pass inside in the block. Nice. Tiffin gets blocked from behind, and here comes PV the other way down six. Miley on the way, no, but she will go shoot three. Oh my, I think she banged her head on the floor. That could require some medical attention right there. Get the trainer right out anytime a, a skull hits the floor. Yeah, I heard you that. should get out and uh, take a look in her eyes, check it out. Wow, Emma Miley. She's tough. Three year starter, 10 points per game. One of the top academic students in the high school. And get this, Al. She is positively knows what she wants to do in life. She wants to be a dentist. Nice. <laughs> And she wasn't coming out. She says, hey, I have three foul shots. I ain't walking <laughs> off this she court. she hit her head, some of her teeth might have been rattling around. That's a, that's a nice looking stroke. Tiffin comes back in for Springford. And Benger, who had taken a break, comes back in for the Vikes. And yeah, they got it down to four. Knock it down to three. Going into the locker room, that'd be nice. Miley with three, very sweet looking free throws, now has eight points and it's a three point game. Miller drives in the lane over to Puffco, thought about it. Miller doing a lot of dribbling on the side, Soliday finds herself baseline, kicks it over. Short jump shot on the way, back iron no good by Tiffin. And PV gets the rebound and it's a foul on Springford. And I think it's gonna be a one on one. And what precipitated that? 
a lost start, the mid-range jumper. Yes, it is. <laughs> you literally have four girls on each team that are looking to dial long distance, shoot the three, and yes, the three's a weapon. But there is a solid piece of the pie to have that mid-range jumper game yep. as oh, yeah. well. Those elbow jumpers, high percentage shots. Emma Miley returns to the line. Wow, it's automatic. Ice water in her veins. She started as a sophomore, suffered through that eight and 14 season. Now she's a senior and her team is 19 and four. And I jinxed her. It's a two point game, nine points for Emma Miley. Unless you get a clean look, you might want to wait. No, they're dialing. Tiffin front iron, one and done. Miley clears the rebound. Chance to take the lead going into halftime. Beatty holding it way out top. Yeah, I do not want to give Springford the ball back here. 35 seconds, a two ties, a three gives you the lead. Once again, Miley. Julia Smith is checked into the game. That's her with the ball on the far wing. Bettinger out top to Emma Miley. You want to go with about eight seconds, give you a chance for a second shot opportunity. Nice pass inside. Bettinger kicks it out. Miley three on the way. Now, yeah, see, she left a lot of time for Springford to get a, get a shot here. Tiffin, solid day. Pettinelli at the buzzer. And wow. Not very high scoring, but it's been end-to-end -end action at times. And it's a two-point spring forward lead heading into halftime. At Superior Credit Union, we believe in growing stronger together. So we provide products and services to fit your financial needs and accommodate your busy lifestyle. With convenient services like home banking, e-deposits, account alerts, and a free coin counter for members, come see why Superior Credit Union is growing. Visit any one of our three locations in Collegeville, Royers Ford, and our brand new location in Pottstown. Superior Credit Union. For more than 50 years, Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery has served its community with expert dental care, offering patients dental implants and a full menu of procedures for many types of dental problems, including bone grafting, wisdom teeth, impacted canines, facial trauma, jaw surgery, oral pathology, TMJ disorders, and sleep apnea. Get the smile you've always wanted. Contact Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery today. There's a place for wood in your backyard. We recommend the fire pit. For looks and performance that outlast a wooden deck, make sure your next deck is built with Trex, engineering what's next in outdoor living. Your Trex expert is A.D. Moyer Lumber, admoyer.com. Yakalak Construction, serving the Tri-County area since 1946. Family owned, free estimate, all types of concrete work, sidewalks, foundation, steps, curbs, and more. Professional service and quality. Give them a call, 610-323-8134. So, Car Stories on PCTV. Uh, I've been doing it for many years. It's a good advertising tool for the business, plus I enjoy doing it. I enjoy sharing uh, the shop and the different things that you should know about your car with people. If you need a place to highlight your business, call Gus at PCTV and check it out. Uh, it's a good way to, to inform people about your business. You'll get new customers from it, and uh, you can share your knowledge of your particular trade. All right, welcome back, everybody. Once again, halftime score 17-15. And for Perk Valley, I have three people scoring. Jen Beatty has three. 
Emma Miley has nine, and Quentin Bettinger has three as well. With Spring Ford leading the way is Anna Azera with six. Meg Robbins has four off the bench. Aliyah Salade with a three-pointer off the bench. Katie Tiffin and Mackenzie Petnelli both with two. What a big comeback in that late second quarter to make it an interesting game. Two-point game. Bettinger powers inside. It is now a tie game. Perk Valley was down six. What brought them back? Defense. That was pretty much the only successful play they had in the first half was dumping baseline down low to Bet Bettinger. Al, I think I really hit on something with that height matchup. Bettinger and Robbins are the two 6-2 players could decide this game. Zara, a nice little pull up. She's tough, keep shooting. That's your point guard who can shoot 15 points per game. Heck of a player, Anna Azara, 21 in blue. Perk Valley with a chance to take a lead at one point midway through the second period. They were down 17-8. Bettinger. And out of bounds will be Spring Ford ball. Even though they didn't get the basket, that's good coaching. They called the play, get the ball on the low block to the big girl in time before Springford puts their big in the game. <clears throat> Miller flashes across the lane. Petnelli over to Tiffin all the way in. We'll scoop it up left hand. It gets it partially blocked. And Bettinger with the rebound will at let to Midley. Inside, Bettinger, nice little position, won't get it to roll, but the foul is on Puffco. And John Russo, will shoot two. tremendous coaching. They're just gonna keep working it. I am counting the seconds till Coach McDaniel decides to put Robbins back in the game, and the big girl can, can the, really make a difference. She's at the scorer's table as you say that. Okay, there you go, that's good coaching. Only 629, and she's already, they forced Coach Mickey McDaniel's hand, there's more good coaching. Now you got 6-2 on 6-2. Let's see what happens. Bettinger with two buckets and two free throws so Hard far to tonight. She's a freshman, Al. Yeah. That's crazy. Looks very poised, has given her team a 19-17 lead. That's 11 straight unanswered points. For the casual fan at home, normally these games are decided by girls in grade 11 and 12. You're basically in the nucleus of one team. You have five freshmen going against five sophomores. And immediately Robbins pays dividends on the offensive glass. She will go to the line. There you go. And that is three for Bettinger. And Robbins will go to the line. She fires 56% from the stripe. 6-2 junior. And the drought continues. Yep, that's, that's going to hurt. Foul shooting is critical. That's what's going to decide this game. Rebounding and foul shooting. Oh, for 2. Springford remains scoreless in the last five plus minutes. Miley over the wing to Stein. Stein across the lane. Beatty gets it blocked. Azara with a nice play. Can't quite save it from going out of bounds. Azara is just ubiquitous. She's everywhere at once. Both ends of the floor, offense and defense. Oh, and she, oh, it's Petnelli with a steal. Three-pointer all the way, no good. Azara missed it, and rebound. Out of bounds, will go PV's way. So much of Springford's production is that BIMP system that Randy Doty installed. Penn State girls used it through the years. It's all about tips, deflections, diving for loose balls, hustle. If you're not scoring points on the, the computer, you come out of the game after two minutes. Beatty out top to Miley. 
Miley has nine points to lead all scorers. Miley off a high ball screen from Bettinger. Bettinger trying to post up out high. Beatty will launch from three, bang! Jen Beatty with a pair of three balls has six of the night, it's a five point PV lead. What an athlete she is, she is dynamic. Outstanding softball player as well, Jen Beatty. And Al, she can study a little too, she's going to Lehigh. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's no slouch. They give homework in Lehigh. <laughs> Penelli off the Robin screen, little give and go. Inside, blocked by Bettinger. She took a chance, she has three fouls. 14 years old, playing like a senior, Quinn Bettinger. Gotta love that face shield of number 25 in white, Grace Miley, lacrosse player, a hard-nosed player, wearing that face shield, she's got the ball now. Bettinger, double team, here comes the steal, Petnelli. Springford needing a bucket. Yeah, these possessions become gigantic. High school quarters, only eight minutes. Bet More good D by Bettinger. Wow. Lena Stein almost lost control, gets it back out to Emma Miley. Don't want to give Beatty any room. She just lit one up from deep. Miley has it tipped away, but out of bounds will stay PV ball. Saladay checks back in. We're in number five. She will give Miller, Sienna Miller, a break. They're gonna, Robbins gets called for a foul. That's her second. Yeah, Bettinger's just wearing them down. Down low, Bettinger gets pushed again. They try to move her off the block and that's three fouls on Robbins. Yeah, this is, yeah, with 325 left, he's gonna have to take her out of the game. That's a big foul right yeah, there. That hurts. Now you got 6-2 on 5-10. Then your double team gets it swatted from behind by Azara. Tiffin all the way in off the glass, no good. Rebound, no good. There is a lid on that bucket for Springford. And who had the block? 5-7, Anna Azara. <laughs> She's amazing for a sophomore. Mackenzie Petnelli to trigger the inbound. Azara. The drought continues. So uncharacteristic of a high scoring, productive offense for Springford. Only 17 points. <laughs> Where's the foul there? They still call no foul, they say out of bounds off of Zara. <laughs> I thought <laughs> I thought it was out of bounds off PV, but I thought Zara might have gotten away with the foul. It's either a foul on blue or off white. That's gotta be, yep. Benger out top, My Miley! Grace Miley with a three ball. Star lacrosse player. Freshman, eight points per game, dialing long distance. 25-17, they were down at one point, 17 to eight, midway through the second. Unbelievable. Wow, a 17-0 run, correct? Yeah, yep. Amazing, just amazing. The, uh, the And what did we talk about in the pregame, Al? We talked about defense. Perk Valley allows only 35 points per game. Here they're holding a top 20 in the state ranked team, the defending district champion Springford, the number two team in the state a year ago. 
and they only have 17 points at by the end of the third quarter. What a real credit to the energy of the Perk Valley defense, and especially that freshman 33 in white. Yep. She keeps playing like this. She's going to be game MVP in the championship. I'll tell you, when they were down by nine, PV looked like they had no clue on offense. They had nothing going. See what Springford can do. Tiffin over to Petnality. Chance of defense by the PV students. Soliday going against Beatty. Petnelli, I'm sorry, Azara on the floor, puts it up, off the rim, no good, rebound PV. Emma Miley working her way inside, has it blocked nicely by Tiffin. And Grace Miley tried to go up with it and gets fouled. Calling a little tight there. Yeah. Let them play, man, no blood, no foul. Yeah, the team in blue, again, has captured 10 league championships, four in a row. Perk Valley in white has only captured one league title. They're looking to get number two tonight. Grace Miley looking smooth on that stroke. That is her fourth point. Bettinger will take a break. Remember, she has three fouls. These girls in white were watching that team of 2016. Perk Valley captured the district title. By the way, Katie Armstrong off that team went to Seton Hall, wow. where she just eclipsed 1,000 points. Offensive rebound, Beatty, oh no. Oh, I was gonna say, if she hit that, the, the building was gonna come down. Wow, a push. They're calling it real tight right now. And they were letting that stuff go earlier. Man, I'll go playground rules in a championship game. No blood, no foul. Two minutes, one second left to play third period. PV on top, 20-17. 18-0 run for the ladies in white. Zara gonna take it all the way in, loses her footing, and they're gonna call a blocking foul against PV. Azara is fearless. It has been four years since Springford lost a playoff game at home. 14 straight wins. It is in jeopardy right now. They need a bucket. Petnelli, nice little move inside, flips it up and scores. Finally. <laughs> Springford gets off of 17. Sometimes that's all you need psychologically. Get that bucket out of the way. Play defense. Miley has it rim in and out from three-point range. Big miss and a big rebound for Petnelli. Boy, Petnelli is a well-rounded player. She yeah. can handle the rock, rebound, play D, shoot outside. She has it on the wing. She's going to get a clear out. Takes it outside instead. Soliday. A lot of good ball handlers in blue. Miller, all the way in, solid, a left-hander! Two straight buckets for Spring Ford to cut the lead to five. Solid, a, the sophomore. Beautiful drive to the bucket. Twenty-five's Grace Miley. 11 is Lena Stein. Stein will kick it over to Emma Miley, all the way in, off the glass, and good for the bucket. And the scoring has picked up. The senior again, feeling no pressure, Miley. Got a hold for one here, 15 seconds left. Soliday going against Miley, good defense. Zara has herself free inside oh. and catches it off the glass. Oh my, little English. Eight now, points for Azara. Yeah, now you in a possession here, you, point four, the rule book states, is the only time you can get a possession and a shot. So your only chance here with point two is a volleyball punch or tip. So throw an alley-oop, try to bump it in the basket. If you catch it, it's no basket, automatic, even if you make it. Petnelli. Nope. Yeah. Nope. 
Wow, that was an action-packed quarter. Looked like the Rams were left for dead. They've come back, they now trail by five. Yeah, there's a lot of fight in this team in blue. Their coaching staff, Mickey McDaniel and his staff have done such a tremendous job to the state title three of the last eight years in the state championship game. His assistant coaches, Dan Brittingham, Marissa Moley, Matt Lebick, and Phil Roach. And Coach Russo has surrounded himself with an outstanding staff. Jim Hodson, Sam Pagel, Dave Rogers, Jim Hodson, and Mickey Marcillo. And the, uh, I didn't realize, I thought I recognized the AD's name for Perk Valley, Robert Felty. He was a girls basketball coach that captured a state championship, I think about 10 years ago. So even the AD's got some pedigree. Mm -hmm. But so much history here in Ram Nation. You think of the Kakarika Bedard, Sammy Stippa, what she did here, uh, went on to Lafayette, made us proud. Ashley Wood, who went on to score 1,000 at, Pot at uh, Kutztown wow. in college. So they're not done. They're only down five. You got eight minutes left. Just stay poised, breathe, and, and call the plays. Just execute your offense and play defense like your feet are on fire. I could be wrong, but it looks like uh, starting four, starting four of the starting five from PV out there, plus Bacotti and Soliday, who just got called for an offensive foul or a moving screen, is the only person in off the bench for Springfoot. Otherwise, it's the starters. I shouldn't have said that was on Soliday. Could have just been the, the pick was not set. Both teams have gone pretty much exclusively man-to-man -man with the exception of Springford using a 1-2-2 full court press in the first quarter. Bacotti off the bench, wearing number two. Beatty has had a couple of big buckets in this half. She floats it in, in traffic, comes up empty. Spring forward with a chance to draw even closer. Yeah, they've got numbers. Soliday has been hot, and it continues. <laughs> you never know who your unlikely heroes are going to be in a championship game coming off the bench. Aliyah Soliday on fire. She has eight, including five in this half. Two-point game. Beatty way out in the wing. Tough to do anything with it way out there. Bittinger going against Petnelli. Clock at 6.25. Miley frustrated that nobody's moving. Miley almost kicks it out of bounds. Good defense by Springford. Beatty on the way with three, no good. Rebound, up and in by Stein. Lena Stein with a huge bucket. Wow. I have that as her first bucket of the game. Yeah, I'm watching John Russo, his side court mechanic. Very impressed with his culture. John Strott was the coach. Then Kelly Sorber took over. And then there was a decline, but Russo has installed the similar culture to what Springford does. Al, you got 10 girls on the court. You literally have eight three-point shooters. You live by the three, you die by the three. But so many perimeter shooters, so much guard play, and the, the feverish pace of defense. This is not a game for the faint of heart. No. <laughs> and these, these really are some young ladies out there with a lot of guts. Yeah, and Russo comes to us by way of Ridley High School where he played basketball. He's a Westchester grad. His summer program, an integral part of bringing back Perk Valley basketball. But don't anybody for a second doubt this team in blue. They played in Hershey just 11 months ago. This is nothing to them. They're on the Nike summer circuit, the Adidas summer circuit. I expect this to come right down to the wire. 
Number 20, Sienna Miller triggers the inbound to Anna Azara. I wouldn't give Salome an inch the way she's been shooting. Petnelli, Perk Valley with some tough defense. Very tight man to man by PV off the timeout. Petnelli's going to let it fly. Bang! One point ball game. Oh, my goodness. She's a girl that fills all five categories. Points, rebounds, assists, steals, and block. Petnelli putting on a show. Grace Miley out top, picks up her dribble over to Lena Stein. Bacotti. And Miley is held as she tries to drive to the basket. That will not be a shooting foul yet. Next foul by Springford will send PV to the line. And Quinn Bettinger will check back in wearing number 33 still with three fouls. Yeah, and that's five minutes left, so they gotta really be careful. You can't let her get number four. In traffic, Stein puts it up a little too strong off the glass. Here comes Petnelli. She had a big jumper just a minute ago. That's Tiffin going against Stein. Petnelli in traffic, has it knocked away. And saved by Benger. Here comes Bacani, does not have the numbers. Stein, errant baseline shot. Here comes Springford. Gets the ball in the hands of number 21. She is dynamic. Oh, Soliday thought about it. Pennelli thinks about it as well. Oh! <laughs> two straight three balls by Pennelli, and Springford leads by two. Wow. She, we saw her skills in soccer. She can play a little basketball too. Oh my, Lady Mo. It has been a game of runs and Springford is on one of those runs. Timeout wow. on the court. <laughs> this is what they do. And you know, you look at that sideline right now. I'm looking at Coach Mickey with his assistant. You have a brief 10 seconds with your assistant. Sit the girls down. Relax them and look at the calmness now. This guy's been on the biggest games in, in, the, in the country. They go to Arizona, Florida eight times. They go to the Bahamas. I mean, you know, this is nothing to these girls. Their sights, their goals are bigger than this. Yes, they want the, the conference championship, but they want to repeat as district champions. They want to get another state title. And, and our area and girls basketball, insane, really. Boyertown, state champ. Springford state champ. Springford been to the uh, championship game three times. Perk Valley get a, got a sniff in that, that team with Jonathan, Ham, and Armstrong from 2016. This is exactly what the doctor ordered now. I'm loving this. Two point game in the championship with only a few minutes remaining. Springford couldn't buy a bucket for about eight straight minutes of game time now. They have warmed up considerably. They have the ball, they have a two point lead and PV looks like they're gonna come with some full court pressure. Yeah, maybe not. A little token, just to show it. Salabay will let it fly. Whoa! Springford cannot miss from downtown. Soliday with three threes in the game. Two in the second half. Amazing. Just like that, they're up five. Are you kidding me? What a game of runs. Runs and mini runs, that's the game of basketball. And they almost have a tie up. <clears throat> oh, PV continuation. 
Oh, they man. called timeout just oh, in time. Oh, boy. And Emma Miley saying, you killed my basket. <laughs> that, was, that was a good call. That was the otherwise, that was a turnover waiting to happen. He's again, a good luck. Methacton with a bye. Perk Valley a bye. Springford at home against CBE. Owen J girl on the road. That's for you, Al. And the Upper Perk girls on the road, making us proud. Five of our 12 teams have made it into the district playoff, and District 1 is a hotbed. Undefeated PW, Souderton. Then you get the teams out of Philadelphia, some of the Catholic schools out of Philly. It's tough to get out of southeastern Pennsylvania. Spring forward with 12 points in this quarter, all on three-pointers. <laughs> two by Soliday, two by Petnelli. PV needs a bucket now. Obviously. Yeah, this is a critical possession. Emma Miley going off a high ball screen, unable to get free. Now she has Pettinger. Miley will take it all the way in. A little strong off the glass. Solidy with a the rebound. They're letting him play. There was some body contact, but I like the no call. Spring for not in any hurry to do anything. 249 enough to play. They lead by five. There's no reason to shoot here. A five point lead, two possession game, two minutes, 40 seconds remaining. I'm just gonna just burn some clock right now. Almost a held ball, but it's inside to Azara for the basket. Unless you find your super soft point card underneath the bucket, 15 points a game. Anna Azara playing with ice water in her veins. She now has 10, it's a seven point game. Yeah, this is really dangerous now. PV looks so confident for so long in this corner and now they look very tentative. And both teams again with long range snipers, they could use a three right now, down seven. Three possession game. That's the one you don't want to lead open is number three. That will be a foul on Springford and PV will be shooting. Refs have called a pretty good game, wouldn't you say? Yeah. A little touchy in the one quarter, but otherwise pretty solid. Yep. You couldn't pay me $300 to ref a high school game. No. You, you have, have no ego. I mean, you're going to get brutal. They're going to yell things about your mama. You know, it, it, officiating basketball, very difficult. This is the front end of the one and one but a very huge offensive rebound for PV. Yeah, that was gigantic here. They need a bucket desperately. Beatty is their big three-point weapon. Bittinger follows it up. And Springford gets called for a foul again. Yeah, without Robbins in the game, Bittinger, Bittinger has her way. So as I said about 15 minutes ago, foul shooting and rebounding She's got to knock down two shots here. Must. Bettinger now with eight. She has four points off the line. Even if they lose the game, look at her on the foul line. She's calm as can be. What an upside for this freshman. 6-2. Two. two for two for Quinn Bettinger. Take Bettinger out of the game. Get your full court defense on there. Bernie mentioned how Petnelli just has such a complete game, handles the ball well for somebody of her height. Oh, she's amazing. She's a, a point guard that can shoot and plays one of the best defenders in the league for sure. Reminds me a lot, and this is a real compliment uh, to, to say this about her, but Lucy Olsen, who's playing at Villanova, this reminds me of a young Lucy Olsen. Lucy Olsen was, won four titles in a row, first team four years in a row. Amazing career at Springford. PV has some fouls to give before they go to the one-on-one, so. Okay, next time they foul, Springford will be shooting one-on-one. You 
you've got to know who to foul on this spring four team. You know, you don't want to put Petinelli or Soliday on the line. They're firing 80-something percent. You got to find somebody who's in the 50s. Meantime, they're going to play keep away. Up, oh, Zara behind the defense. It didn't go down. Oh, my. And they're saying it's spring wow. forward ball. Wow, tough call. That's what I'm talking about, man. Whoa. That's microscopic refereeing right there with no instant replay. Five point lead, 112 left. PV's got a foul soon. Oh no, Soliday lets it fly with a three ball. Here comes PV the Big other way. Big surprise that she shot there. Miley inside. Wow, that's foul exactly what Perk Valley needed. That was a gift. Why not burn some more clock with a five point lead? Now you have a chance to chop it to three, a one possession game inside of one minute. Emma Miley shooting two free throws. Actually, one and the bonus. All those freshmen, but you got a senior on the line. And she threads the first one. She has 12 points. It's a four-point game. Clutch free throws. And a steal. Bacani in traffic. To Miley who loses the handle. Wow. Yeah, you got a foul here. Timeout, Springford. Wow. My nerves are shot and I'm not playing or coaching. You know, there's something about the sport of basketball, the beauty of it. Other sports really can't simulate this environment. No. A packed gym, it's hot, it's loud, so much pressure in these kids. Most of the girls out there are 14 or 15 years old, you know. <laughs> Just amazing, and then you, then you get fouled, you gotta go to the line where everyone in the gym is looking at you, knowing, and she knocked down both foul shots, so you have a one possession game, I think you, you know, you got a foul here. Oh, yeah. Put them on the stripe, hope for a miss, and tie the game with a three. And yeah. there are, as I said earlier, at any given time of the 10 girls on the court, eight or nine of them are three-point shooters. That's the kind of personnel both teams have. And the next foul by PV will send Spring forward to the line for one and one. That's the pressure. You miss the first, you don't get the second. Both teams with two timeouts remaining. Petnelli will trigger the inbounds. They will not guard the inbounder. That's the girl you want with the ball. Bacotti getting aggressive on her. And that gets called for the foul, which is probably what she wanted. And as talented as number 21 is, she's on my all first team conference. The one chink in her armor, only 53% from the line. Now the two most important foul shots of her career. And some folks that go to school at PV not making it any quieter. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Man, talk about ice water in the veins. Pretty impressive. All cotton on both. They need to hurry. 12 they need points. A two and a three. Bacotti in the lane, puts it up, no good. Good hustle by, that's Miley. Miley is, oh, I said she was fouled. She is not fouled. They called timeout first. Yeah. That's a well-placed timeout uh, by Coach Russo. Get a chance to draw something up. They were trapped in the corner. You're down five. You need a two and a three. 
get the two right away. And if they're going to foul, fine. Let them foul, go to the line and get your two. And then get a, then you got to foul right away. Hope they miss, come down, knock a three and send us into overtime. <laughs> You're not working tonight. You got nowhere to be. No, no, I was hoping to stay here as late as possible. <laughs> How about a little triple overtime? No, I like, I, this game deserves to go overtime. It's been so well played. Our managing director, Gus Tellis, told me he's got plenty of tape, lots of space. We could do quad overtime. <laughs> but Spring Forward looking for a 5P, just amazing that you win it. You know, this is a conference that has can play with anybody in the country. Methacton, Perk Valley, Boyertown. Spring for it. I mean, that's some good girls basketball. Yep. They can take the court with anybody. Take these athletic teams out of Philly. Take the tall girls from Western Pennsylvania. This is a mecca of girls basketball. And here we go. 24 seconds left. That's Bacani on the inbounds pass. Springford will not guard the inbounder. Miley will launch from three. And Springford gets the rebound, and Puffco is fouled. And that may do it. Little surprise, Bettinger's not on the floor. I understand the reasoning, but you know, that's a rebound that maybe she could have grabbed. You still got time. If she misses here, you know, she's 60% from the line. You got a 40% chance that you're going to get the ball back with 19 seconds left. Whoa. Her first point of the game. Still to possession. This is a shot that could ice the title. Clutch, clutch free throw shooting by Springford. Take a miracle now. Somebody's got to chuck it up. Miley does and scores with seven seconds left. Great Smiley with six points in the game all in the second half. It's few and far between, but like I said, it's going to take a miracle. You got to foul right away. Hope for a miss. Hope for a desperation three. Foul right away. Hope for a desperation two. The odds, what would the analytics say? You probably have about a 1% chance of winning the game right now. But there's no, there, you know, there's a lot of fight in that Perk Valley team. And these two teams being both high seeds uh, could, could meet again. They could meet two more times. 12 teams of the 24 that go to district will advance to state. So, for example, Perk Valley has a bye. They know all they have to do is win one game and they go to states. I, but they play a lower seed. They get two wins, they go to state. So this is exciting girls basketball. I've always felt girls basketball is an art form. The boys perhaps a little taller, a little more athletic with the dunks like we had last night, but there is something special, poetry in motion when the girls play this level of basketball. Petnelli will be trying to get the ball in bounds. There's a Zara. A Zara is fouled by Bacotti with 4.3 seconds left. Yeah, when Spring Forward, the girl at the line, Anna Azara, she drew the defensive assignment against Methacton on Timco, who is number two all time in Methacton scoring, and she did a heck of a job. So her prowess is both offense and defense. And despite 53% on the season from the stripe, she's just stepping up and knocking them down, man. Going for a five-peat in Ram Nation. Four straight free throws down the stretch by Ada Azara. 12 points all the night, and that will do it. Spring forward. Beats PV, final score 43 to 36. They are the Pac-12 champions. For more than 50 years, Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery has served its community with expert dental care 
offering patients dental implants and a full menu of procedures for many types of dental problems, including bone grafting, wisdom teeth, impacted canines, facial trauma, jaw surgery, oral pathology, TMJ disorders, and sleep apnea. Get the smile you've always wanted. Contact Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery today. At Superior Credit Union, we believe in growing stronger together. So we provide products and services to fit your financial needs and accommodate your busy lifestyle. With convenient services like home banking, e-deposits, account alerts, and a free coin counter for members, come see why Superior Credit Union is growing. Visit any one of our three locations in Collegeville, Royers Ford, and our brand new location in Pottstown. Superior Credit Union. There's a place for wood in your backyard. We recommend the fire pit. For looks and performance that outlast a wooden deck, make sure your next deck is built with Trex, engineering what's next in outdoor living. Your Trex expert is A.D. Moyer Lumber. ADMoyer.com. Yakalak Construction, serving the Tri-County area since 1946. Family owned, free estimates, all types of concrete work, sidewalks, foundations, steps, curbs, and more. Professional service and quality. Give them a call, 610-323-8134. At O'Donnell, Weiss, and Matei, our team approach makes all the difference. Anyone entering a nursing home really should consult with an elder law attorney to see whether Medicaid is the appropriate option for them. So it's really important to make sure that you have someone that's familiar with those rules, that works with those rules on a daily basis, that can guide you through the process. I specialize in elder law because I enjoy the clients that I work with, and I really like helping them find solutions for their problems. OWM Law. Your life, your business, your law firm. Here courtside with winning coach Mickey McDaniel. We each get a question. Mickey, I get it. When you hit that scoring drought, what were you telling your girls? Because apparently something worked. Well, the biggest thing we had to do, as we told them before, is you just got to weather any storm, any run a team makes. Let's just get back to running our offense, spread it out a little bit, and attack, and we're going to be fine. And, look, we have all the faith in these young – this is a young team. We have all the faith in them. And they practice this way. That's the way they practice. They practice to win every day. So – we, weren't, we were confident they would take care of it, and that's what they did. But that's all we told them. Mickey, congratulations. I believe it's championship number 11, five in a row, going back to the 80s. Boys and girls basketball, it doesn't get old, does it? No, I, you know, I'm, I'm actually kind of speechless and emotional right now because, you know, we're coming off a great run with a senior class that graduated this year, or last year. And these, this group of young ladies wanted to create their own identity, and that's what they've done. They've created their own identity, and they've done it through hard work, uh, chemistry. Uh, one, they're just, I uh, just as a team. Like you know what our thing was down there: five fingers, one fist. Five fingers, one fist. That's what we said in the locker room before we came up, because that's what they're all about: is five fingers, one fist. So. I can't tell you how emotional I am for this for this group of young men. So ladies. proud of you. Congratulations. Home game, first round of district. Good luck. Your girls are cutting it down. Go enjoy, man. Right, thank Good you. job. Thanks for the job. Thank you. Nice job, man. Boy, I'll tell you, Bernie, I, I was saying my nerves were shot. Those girls did not look rattled at all out there in the court. Yeah, and on the Perk Valley side, you know, you got to talk about them a little bit before we elaborate on Springford. You know, so much pride the number one defense in the conference that seemingly had them in control of this game. Springford could not buy a basket from late first half into the third quarter. It looked like Perk Valley was going to ride it out to a six, seven, eight point victory. But there's so much pride in Ram Nation, and it starts with their basketball IQ. Yes, they have the athleticism, the basketball skills. They travel the world playing all these tournaments, Nike Tour, Adidas Tour. But it comes down to this. Basketball is a cerebral sport. They take care of the basketball. They knock down their foul shots. They box out for rebounds, and they play help defense, that weak side rotation. Congratulations, Springford Rams. Five in a row. Wow.
And as you can see, they have chairs to be taken down here. Uh, any, so, BV, I thought they played very well. I thought um, showed a lot of poise. They played tough defense. I mean, what more can you say? Hey, Perk Valley's ranked top 20 in the state. They're ranked near the top of the district. They get a first round by. All they have to do is win one game, and they guarantee to punch their ticket to state. And you may very well see, even though PW is undefeated, number one seed in District 1. And yes, Southern is loaded, a very good team. Both of these teams are capable of knocking off Southern or PW. Keep in mind, Springford's a defending district champion. And Perk Valley, you know, they can play with Methacton. Let's not forget about them. Methacton's 20 and 2, ranked top 10 in the state. You have three teams from our conference making us very proud. And Coach Russo, the culture he has installed, and this is five freshmen in his playing rotation. Unbelievable. And the future is so bright for both of these programs. All right, once again, the final score at Springford 43 and PV 36. Springford wins the Pac-12 championship. All right, thanks for joining us, everybody. For Bernie Gallagher, Gus Tellis behind the camera, I'm Al Ganosa. Have a great night.